Hello friends, welcome to civil engineering exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with water supply engineering in the topic of uh, design of uh, canal intakes. So the problem is design a bell mouth canal intake for a city of 75,000 population drawing the water from a canal which runs only 10 hours. Oh, so the running pump running time is 10 hours uh, per day with a deep depth of 1.5 meter. Also calculate the head loss in the intake conduit it, if the treatment box is 1 by 4 kilometer away given the average consumption per uh, person is 150 liters per day. Assume the velocity through the screen and bell mouth to be less than 16 centimeter per second and 32 centimeter per second respectively okay so the velocity through the screen is 16 centimeter per second then bell mouth is 32 centimeter per second okay so now we have to design three parts of uh, bell mouth canal intake so the first one is uh, design of core screen so second one is design of bell mouth entry third thing is design of intake conduit okay so there is a three components so the we have to design all those three components okay so first thing is we have to find out the discharge and as well as intake load so now the discharge so discharge required is so now the discharge is uh, population into daily demand so that is 150 is daily demand and 75,000 population so uh, solving this we got the value of 1125 liter per day okay so now convert into million liters that is 11.25 million liters per day okay so next thing is we have to find out uh, uh, only 10 hours of running time so uh, we can convert into 10 hours of running time into meter cube per second okay so now intake load per hour so now we can take 11.25 divided by 10 hours of working million liters per day okay so now we can take 1.125 into 10 power 6 divided by 10 power 3 for meter cube so meter cube per hour so now we can convert into meter cube per second so 1.125 into 10 power 6 divided by 10 power 3 into 60 into 60 equal to so we got the value of 0 0.3125 meter cube per second so now the intake load is 0 0.3125 meter cube per second so we have to design for this uh, load okay so now design of crawl core screen so first thing is we have to find out the area of core screen so which may be made as vertical iron boss of 20 mm and 3 to 5 cm center to center distance okay so now the area of core screen is discharge entering the well through the core screen divided by velocity through the screen okay so now the maximum velocity through the screen is 0 0.16 meter per second so now we can substitute all the values over here so now 0 0.3125 divided by 0 0.16 meter square okay so now solving this we got the value of 1.95 meter square so this is the area of the screen okay so now we can uh, provide the height and the length of the screen then uh, we can find out the number of openings so now the screen uh, height of screen provided so that is 1.5 minus 0 0.15 minus 0 
okay so now we got the value of 1.05 meter so assume the minimum water level of the canal is 0.3 meter below the fsl okay so that's why we are putting 0.3 over here so thereby the keeping the top of the screen 1.5 minus uh, 0.15 minus 0.3 meter from the bit level okay so this is uh, the, that's why we are putting 0 minus 0 0.3 here okay so next thing is uh, minimum length of the screen so length length of screen so the number of uh, openings uh, say length of screen is uh, number of openings required that is 1.95 meter square meter square divided by 1.05 okay so that is area divided by height of the screen so now we got the value of 1.86 meter okay so now height is uh, 1.05 then length is 1.86 okay so now assuming the clear opening with between the vertical bars is 30 mm so that is uh, uh, 0.03 meter each okay so now the number of openings So number of openings is 1.86 length divided by 0 0.03 is the spacing. Okay, so now we got the value of 62. Okay, so now number of bars equal to 62 minus 1 because uh, both uh, ends are same. So now uh, we got the value of 61 bars. So the length occupied by the bars is 20 mm. So length occupied by bars of 20 mm dia. So now 61 into 0 0.02 meter. So now we got the value of 1.22 meter. So the length occupied is 1.22 meter. So the total length of screen. So total length of screen is 1.86 so the 1.86 uh, is the length of the screen again plus 1.22 is the bars occupied uh, in the screen okay so now we got the value of 3.08 meter so say 3.1 meter okay so now the length is 3.1 meter so we, hence we provide 3.1 meter length of core screen the height of 1.05 this is the design of core screen okay so next thing is uh, we have to design the ball mouth entry So now the area of ball mouth entry discharged by velocity through the ball mouth. Okay, so now 0.3125 is the discharge divided by so the ball mouth entry velocity is given that is 0.32. Okay, so now solving this we got the value of 0.98 meter square. Okay, so now uh, the if the di diameter of the ball mouth entry so the pi by 4 into d square equal to 0.98. Okay, so now uh, d equal to root of 0 0.98 into 4 divided by 5. Okay, so solving this we got the value of 1.12 meter. So we can take it as 1.2 meter. Okay, so this is the diameter of the ball mouth entry. So next thing is uh, we have to design the intake on tube. So now we can take the area of the contute required so that is discharge by velocity so discharge is again 0 0.3125 so we already found out divided by the velocity we can assume that 1.5 meter per second okay so now solving this we got the value of 0 0.208 meter square okay so now again we are using the same formula pi by 4 into d square equal to 0 0.208 so now d equal to root of 0 0.208 into 4 divided by 5 okay so solving this we got the value of d equal to 0 0.515 so we can take in as 0 0.5 meter okay so the, the this is the diameter of the intake contour okay so next thing is we have to find out the headless through the contour so now we can uh, using the formula v equal to 0 0.85 ch into r power 0 0.63 into s power 0 0.54 okay so now uh, the r values r equal to d by 4 that is 0 0.5 divided by 4 so we got the value of 0 0.125 meter so then the velocity v uh, is 1.59 meter per 
second. So then S is the slope of the uh, energy line. Okay. So now uh, we can substitute all the values over here. So here V is 1.59 equal to 0. 85 into CH value is 130. So, for the cast iron pipe, uh, so we can take from the table 6.2, we can take 130 uh, as a CH into the R value is 0 0.125 whole power 0 0.63 into S we have to find out. So, 0 0.54 S power 0 0.54. Okay, so here the only unknown is yes. So solving this, we got the value of yes equal to 4.41 into 10 power minus 3. Okay, so after that we can find out the uh, this is the slope. So after that we can find out the head loss. So yes equal to HL divided by L. Okay, so now head loss divided by length of the pipe. So HL is head loss divided by length of the contour. Okay, so now uh, the HL equal to L into S that is uh, L is 1.4 into so the 1.4 in uh, kilometer into length is 1000 meter. Okay, so that is uh, we can convert into meter. So there is 1.4 kilometer is given that is we can convert into meter. Okay, so next thing is into S value. So S value is 4.41 into 10 power minus 3. Okay, so now solving this, we got the value of HL equal to 1.1025 meter. Okay, so this is the head loss. So this is the final answer. So now uh, the design of ball mouth canal. So we uh, designed the design of core screen. So then uh, ball mouth entry, then chain of intake contour. Finally, we uh, found out the head loss. Okay, so this is a method we can solve the problem. Again, we'll see next video. Thank you.